What is up fishing addicts on today's video we will be talking about the best walleye baits for the river fishing so lately I've been killing it on walleyes almost every time I, I went out for the past three trips I went out and smashed my limit and I wanted to share instead of making the video catching the baits and sometimes I, I get too distracted on the water to show the bait and all that stuff so i decided i can give you more in-depth information when i'm off the water and uh that said my number one well not number one but my most reliable baits for walleye over the years have been the jigs can i have finally came to and halt I might say looking for the best jig because I have found it so I use these two type of jigs to a different type of jig heads even though both of them are uh, quarter ounce and uh, no matter the depth I fish either it's gonna be quarter or three eighths I do not go any higher or any lower than that simply because of the uh, situations I'm fishing and what I'm fishing for the walleyes so the colors the best jig head that's been working for me it's black black with white or um, a minnow style a minnow pattern uh, plastic behind the head it has been a killer for me casting on the current rolling it down to the current uh, break and that's when i get my most of my fish and uh they're on a feeding frenzy right now especially right now the finally the water temperatures are below 50 below 45 that's when i get the bigger and best quality of fish and a lot faster because they know the uh, hard winter months are hard winter months are coming and they are stacking up on the feed pack so far the females have not arrived yet most of my 95 percent or 96 percent of my fish have been males and they have that uh well when i fillet them they have that uh fat stack uh that's they this that's a sign of uh, them starting to feed heavily and also sometimes the bite is on fire right that's when i usually start with a uh, little uh, blade bait so what i do is i'll start with the bl uh, blade bait right when the sun is coming up or the sun is going down that's when they they start feeding the most and I'll just cast it and if I'm getting bites and they're coming they're not committing to it that's when I bring out the slow swimmers and the reason I choose this type of heads is um, usually it's mostly on uh, on uh, sandbars or small rocky areas because I'm gonna grab a different one and uh, I'll show you it's one of the baits that I make for a friend that he's fishing uh, Lake Michigan a lot so as you guys can see how the bait is actually standing so it's when you when I have a plastic on it the plastic is over here and when you're and when I'm dragging it on the bottom slowly ticking on the rocks the hook is upstream like almost like a football head and this is what increases the bites even the smallest most hesitant bite i get a hookup and the other thing that i want to mention that i have actually uh, solidified uh, this year how important is to have the correct rod um i've been using um, it, i always have been using bass rods to catch walleye catch salmon or whatever i have never had specific walleye rods and most recently i've purchased a rod that it is soft and 
boy, let me tell you, I have less. Uh, I lose less floors due to snacks, and my hookup ratio skyrocketed. I can keep fish longer, and when while I the way while I eat is they feed downwards most of the time. They push their uh, meals to the ground and pin them to the ground on the rocks and eat it. That's why it's a little bit finicky. That's why a lot of people uh, hook them outside the lips, outside the mouth, or under the chin. So it's the, the way they're feeding. So best lures so far that I have come up with and uh, solidified it this year. It's black chick head with white paddle tail that is anywhere between three to four inches depending on the bite that you have if you have bigger walleye on the area and you let's say you're catching 17s and 18s in in uh in that area that's that has been your uh primary uh size and you notice now you're getting 18s 19s and 20s switch to a four inch and you'll get the bigger ones because they'll go for the bigger fish and i have seen a 19 inch walleye smashed down a six and a half inch uh, gizzard chat and when I actually I snagged it in a Fox River uh, by accident um, I chin hooked it uh, I guess you want the smaller minnow as well and the uh, uh, shad was sticking out of as I was saying before uh, rudely got interrupted my uh, daughter is having uh, her one of her fits um, because she wants uh, daddy time um, or turtle most of it is because uh, she likes to terrorize me um, before bedtime but uh, anyways moving on so like I said I start uh, with uh, blade baits and usually I'll fish them slow um, very rarely um, I'll do the uh, lifting technique um, I like to slow roll them and also for the most part I like to uh, move uh, move it from the middle hole all the way to the back hole so that way the lure is like this and I'm hitting the rocks and I'm still getting that vibration that's that that has been a key for me I use quarter rounds um, and more often, I'll use uh, three eights. Just like Jake's three eights has been a key uh, on uh, blade baits. No matter how shallow it is, three eights has been working for me dead on, and I don't have to experiment no more. I am set on that weight. And um, once I found them, um, and if they're not, uh, they're on a little bit on a finicky mood the paddle tail absolutely destroys them um slow rolling it um uh, or uh, hopping it on the bottom or uh dragging it uh i don't drag it with this head but i slow swim it with this one but i like to drag it with this type of head and uh when i'm dragging it it just goes it's a lot better than uh than the poison tail head because this one swimming it works amazingly and uh, the head itself it has a little bit of uh twist and turn and i think that's what it that's what it gives up a uh, good flash especially when i'm using it with the minnow style uh plastic uh, or minnow pattern and uh, i use a uh, screw lock uh, jigs instead of just uh with the regular bait keeper otherwise i tend to lose a lot of plastics sometimes when they nip at it and they pull it out and like i said once i locate them and if they're not eating the blade i switch to the paddle tail and that's as far as i go i do not use any cranks i know a lot of people like to use jerk baits i just found out that those are not that productive for me if, especially on the areas i fish I have not had that good of a luck or anybody that I know that uh, fishes around the areas or um, whatnot. Jerk baits have not been working out for me. And black jig head either with uh, bone white 
pearl white or a minnow style plastic it's a killer and if you guys found these videos helpful hit that like button comment down below what would what do you like to use around this time of the area let me know down below and probably we'll do a giveaway person i'm working on a package um to give thanks around new year's or around that area so that's it guys i'll catch you guys on the next one